the state. It's been in dozens of churches. Uh, but I have to admit, this is the first time I've been in a shopping mall in a church. <laughs> but I'm happy to report that the spirit and the energy and the warmth that's of this church equals uh, you know, whatever mega church I've been outside the Beltway, this church has just as much spirit. And I think it's because of Pastor Tony Lee, and uh, you're lucky to have him, and we're lucky to have him as a leader. And <laughs> Pastor Lee, thank you. But we have tough times. Everyone knows from the papers that we're going into an economic recession. And I urge you to be empathetic with your friends and your neighbors and your community because people are feeling a lot of pain. And uh, they're concerned about their ability to send kids to college and their jobs and their incomes. And everything looks like it's been turned on its head. And I say to them, uh, isn't it lucky that just in this time when we're so scared, someone like Barack Obama arrives on the scene? And I'm obviously not talking about politics here, but I kind of like Barack Obama because he's going to be sympathetic to the interests and needs of people who live inside the Beltway. Because he knows uh, instinctively from his own background the kinds of suffering that goes on. Pastor Lee mentioned after you vote for President, if you drop down the ballot, question two would try to legalize in our state constitution 15,000 slot machines. And they're justifying this by saying it would be new, new money for education. And we all know from the lottery, the money doesn't go for education. It just goes into the, whatever, the general fund. They say it will keep your taxes down. And we know that we've just had a record tax increase brought, brought to us by the same people. So we know that's not true. And then they say it will keep people from going to other states and gambling. And we know that other states are moving to casino gambling and sports betting. So people will still go over there and bet. What they don't tell you in the first year of uh, slot machine gambling, because of the financial losses, and you know what happens when you have a financial loss, then it puts pressure on your marriage. It damages the family. First year of slot machine gambling, we'll see 16,000 divorces in the state of Maryland attributable just to slot machine gambling. We will see 11,000 attempted suicides from people that are so guilty that they've wasted their income at these slot machines that they try to take their own life. And we'll see 100,000 new gambling addicts created in Maryland. So when you vote on question two, think about not doing pain and suffering for your friends and your community. Because you know the lottery, talk about the lottery, it's supposed to be one, one drawing a week when it was approved, now it's one drawing every 20 minutes. <laughs> but the data from the lottery shows that there are two inside the Beltway zip codes of Prince George's County and one inner city zip code in Baltimore City that provides the vast majority of all the lottery ticket sales. Vulnerable families desperate for a ticket out of poverty are spending their hard-earned money that they can't afford on a lottery so that people like myself in richer counties like Montgomery County have our programs paid for by you. Now, that's unfair. Slots are gonna be the lottery on steroids. And it's further going to fleece and steal money from inside the Beltway communities and direct it to the rich, richer counties outside of the Beltway. I urge you to vote no on this. Think of your, your fellow citizens 
and uh, put your foot down as far as Annapolis telling you that this is the right thing to do and stick up for each other because that's the only way we're going to get through this tough time. Stick up for your church and Pastor Lee. Stick up for this great choir that's behind me and uh, music's darn good here. <laughs> and stick up for yourselves with this warmth and this spirit and this energy. And don't let them fool you by saying that slots are good for you. Uh, don't let them get away with bailing out the national gambling industry. All these phony ads that Pastor Lee mentioned. And try to get back to your family values that are taught so well in this church. And please find that ballot number. It's a little hard to find. You've got to go down the ballot. But find that question too. Vote no. God's going to deliver a big miracle on Election Day. Two miracles, actually. Barack Obama and, and the defeat of slots. Thank you all very much. Come on, somebody give God a hand clap of praise. My uh, brothers and my sisters, won't you stand all over the church? Um, we want to have a word of prayer for Brother Francho. Today he's been traveling. He's getting ready to leave right now and go to Baltimore to speak at the church there. Um, it, it's almost like a David and Goliath kind of a situation. Um, a situation in which you have one team that seems to have all of the resources and another team that um, has moral values on its side. But we believe that with just a few rocks, amen, the giants can fall. Have I got a witness in the house? And we believe that when people come together believing in faith and moving in faith, um, that God is able to make a way. So we just want to um, have a word of prayer for him to encourage him, but also to have a word of prayer for all of us as we move along the journey. We cannot allow a poor person's tax to come into this state, amen? Because that's what this is. It's a tax on the poor to be able to build up those and provide services for those who already have what they need. But we need to have a fair system because you remember what happened when greed gets a hold of this nation, amen? We're watching the effects of it on Wall Street right now. When people don't care about the least of these and they victimize the least of these and, and, and they're getting paid on their backs, there always comes a time for a market correction. There always comes a time for things to get reconciled. We want to make sure that we stand up right now for the least of these, our brothers and our sisters, so that we are not taken advantage of, but we are standing strong. So won't you stretch your hands to Brother Francho right now, and we just want to have a word of prayer for him right now. Come on, let's look for the Lord. God, in Jesus' name, we thank you today. We thank you, God, for Brother Peter Francho. We thank you, God, for Reverend Kevin Slayton, who is here with us today. We thank you, God, for all of these who are working, God, so hard, God, to try to um, keep, God, the least of these lifted up and inspired. God, we ask, God, that you would strengthen them for this journey, that while it seems like they're facing an impossible situation, we know, God, that with Pharaoh's army behind them, a Red Sea in front of them, that you are able to open up a Red Sea. God, we're asking, God, for you to start blowing the winds right now to open up the Red Sea. In the name, Lord Jesus, we pray. Strengthen them, God. Guide their feet as they run this race, because we don't want any of us to run this race in vain. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. And amen. Come on, someone give God a hand, clap of praise. Today we'll be walking by the French out as he has to go and get to Baltimore.